This is the first of a two-part series in which we look at the effect of demand and or supply changes on equilibrium price and quantity. Let us start with understanding the effect of a change in demand. Starting with an initial equilibrium situation, if demand increases, then the higher demand puts an upward pressure on price, therefore equilibrium price increases. Because of the higher demand, we expect more transactions to take place in the marketplace. Therefore, equilibrium this puts an upward pressure on quantity. Equilibrium quantity is higher as well. Therefore, in the new equilibrium, we find that both equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity are higher than in the pre-change in demand situation. Let us look at a diagrammatic illustration. This is the initial demand curve DD0. This is the supply curve upward rising. The initial equilibrium price P0 is $5. The initial equilibrium quantity is 3 units or 30 units or 300 units depending on the scale that you have on the quantity axis. If demand increases, then this increase in demand is diagrammatically illustrated by an outward shift of the demand curve to DD1, this blue demand curve in broken lines. Observe that the equilibrium quantity has increased from Q0 to Q1. The equilibrium price has increased from P0 to P1. Now how exactly the economy moves from the initial equilibrium point A to initial equilibrium to the final equilibrium point B, the dynamics of it we can discuss at a different time. This uh, session is just about understanding the statics. The, from point A to point B, we have a higher equilibrium price and a higher equilibrium quantity. What if demand decreases instead? I suggest you pause the video and work it out yourself. Now let's look at an effect, the effect of a change in supply. Starting with an initial equilibrium situation, suppose supply increases. The higher supply puts a downward pressure on price because there is excess supply in the market. The equilibrium price goes down. Because of the higher supply, we expect more transactions to take place in the market. Equilibrium quantity goes up. So this time we observe the equilibrium price is lower but the equilibrium quantity is higher. Again a diagrammatic illustration to just see the statics. This is the demand curve. This time the demand curve stays the same. It's a supply curve that will change. This is the initial supply curve. Initial equilibrium price P0 is $5. Initial equilibrium quantity Q0 is 3 units. When supply increases, the supply curve shifts outward. When the supply curve has shifted outward, we see a decrease in price from P0 to P1, from $5 to $4 in this example, or a little above $4, sorry. The equilibrium quantity is higher. We see more transactions, so equilibrium quantity increases from Q0 to Q1. What if supply had gone down instead? You work it out yourself. In part 2, we will look at simultaneous changes in demand and supply.